Hello, guys. This is the Wallfisk Electric Bicycle, and I will introduce our company's latest product, the Black Warrior. The Black Warrior is equipped with the 1500-watt motor and offers a choice between 30 ampere hour and 60 ampere hour batteries. Next, let's take a look at its appearance, both in static and while riding. Hey there, folks. Meet the Black Warrior Electric Bicycle, my ultimate two-wheeled passion project. Inspired by the timeless allure of my favorite motorcycles, this ride marries classic vintage styling with cutting-edge innovation. Its design echoes the iconic look of retro motorcycles, capturing that nostalgic vibe we all love. Powered by a robust 1500W motor, this beast cruises at a thrilling top speed of 40 min pH promising an electrifying experience on the road. With the flexibility of both 30 ampere hour and 60 ampere hour batteries, it adapts seamlessly to various usage scenarios, ensuring you never run out of juice on those extended rides. What's even cooler? The removable battery, making charging a breeze and giving you the freedom to keep the adventure going. Plus, with front mechanical shock absorbers for the fork and dual hydraulic shock absorbers at the rear, this baby offers not just style, but also a smooth and controlled ride, no matter the terrain. The Black Warrior isn't just an electric bicycle. It's a tribute to the nostalgia of classic motorcycles, without compromising on high-performance innovation. Ready to roll? Let's ride the legacy. Today I got spill the beans on the Black Warrior electric bike, and let me tell you this thing is a game changer. The acceleration on this thing's smooth, but seriously, it's like a gentle nudge, not a sudden rocket. No need to brace yourself for lift off. It's more like a sleep takeoff. You twist that throttle and glides in the motion. No drama, just pure smooth. As the designer of the Black Warrior, I believe that one of the crucial features of an electric bike is comfort during rides. If you feel like you're being pushed when accelerating, that's not right. The throttle has a cruise control function. When you hold the throttle for about five seconds, the cruise control will automatically engage. Very smoothly, we have reached 70 kilometers per hour. see that my feet are not rotating the pedals. I'm simply using the throttle to drive the Black Warrior. Because the Black Warrior has a battery capacity of 60 ampere hours, when I designed it, the pedals were intended only as an auxiliary feature for low speed riding. Additionally, I designed it to resemble a bicycle, which helps navigate around certain regional laws. Without pedals, it might be classified as an electric motorcycle requiring a license to ride, whereas a bicycle does not. When the speed reaches 70 km per hour, your feet can no longer keep up with the rotation. Hey guys, let's talk about the Wallfisk Black Warrior, the ride I cooked up with your comfort in mind, minus the unnecessary fuss.
When the bicycle passes over the curb, the hydraulic shock absorber becomes actively more involved, and there will be continuous damping when riding down from the curb, so you won't experience too pronounced bumps, even if you descend from such a height. As the designer behind the Wallfisk Black Warrior e-bike, I'm excited to share a bit about the design philosophy behind the 5.0-inch tires. When creating this ride, we aimed for a balanced blend of comfort and performance. The larger tires weren't just about making a statement, they were chosen to enhance the overall riding experience. These 5.0-inch tires absorb the road's imperfections, offering a smoother ride without sacrificing control. It's a subtle touch that translates into real comfort for the rider. You can feel the road beneath you, but without the jarring impact. It's all about finding that sweet spot where the journey is enjoyable and the ride is in harmony with the terrain. Even when passing through potholes similar to those in the video, the bicycle frame still maintains a level position and you won't feel uncomfortable. If you were to ask me what sparked the inspiration for using dual rear hydraulic shocks, I would tell you, it all started with my love for motorcycles. You know, that feeling of cruising on a bike with killer suspension that just eats up the bumps. I found myself wondering if motorcycles can have that smooth, exhilarating ride, why not bring that vibe to electric bikes too? So, the concept of dual rear hydraulic shocks was born. It's not about reinventing the wheel, but rather taking inspiration from what works and adapting it for a two-wheeled electric journey. All right, today let's put the Black Warrior's battery life to the test. The one I own is a 30 ampere hour version, and there's also a 60 ampere hour version available. Now let's go. I've been testing my Black Warrior for three days, riding without any pedal assistance in typical daily scenarios. When the total mileage hits 70 kilometers, turning the throttle triggers the battery indicator to turn red, indicating low battery. However, it keeps going. It's just a heads up that it's time to charge. Otherwise, you might find yourself pedaling the bike back. And trust me, with those 5.0 tires, it's not the easiest thing to pedal. Just a heads up, this is the 30 ampere hour version. The 60 ampere hour version is expected to have a range of around 100 miles. Let me share my thoughts on the perks of the 60 ampere hour battery electric bike. Riding this beast is like having an extended ticket to explore without worrying about recharging constantly. The increased battery capacity means more miles on the open road, fewer pit stops for charging, and a whole lot more freedom to enjoy the ride. It's not just about the distance, it's about the uninterrupted journey, allowing you to soak in the scenery and embrace the joy of the ride. Now that we've covered a lot about the dynamic performance of the Black Warrior, let's dive into some of its button configurations and lighting features. Here's the button for the left and right turn signals. When you flick it to the left, the left turn signal starts blinking, 
and there's a corresponding flashing left arrow indicator on the dashboard. Flick it to the right, and the dashboard will display a flashing right arrow, accompanied by the blinking right turn signal. Move it back to the center, and the turn signal stops working. When you grip the brake, the dashboard displays a red exclamation mark, indicating the brakes are active and the motor is disengaged. At the same time, the taillight will flash in red. Unlike brake lights on other electric bikes that remain constantly on, I chose this flashing light because it not only looks better, but also provides a more effective signaling effect. The Black Warrior is equipped with competition-grade hydraulic brakes, and it's a true hydraulic brake. You can see it for yourself. We've positioned the hydraulic reservoir on the outside, making it easier to replace in case of leaks or damage after prolonged use. You can see that all the hydraulic fluid for the brakes is contained inside. Next, let's take a look at the bike's instrument panel. The instrument panel on the bike displays the single trip mileage from powering on to powering off the bicycle. Due to an engineer's oversight, the current version shows the speed only in kilometers per hour, but this does not affect the functionality of the bike. This section displays the power output mode of the Black Warrior. The buttons here allow control over the maximum speed, with three levels for the highest speed and one level for the lowest speed. You can adjust it based on your different usage scenarios. For instance, you might use level one in crowded city conditions and level three on wide open roads. This switch is used to control the bicycle's headlight between high beam and low beam. Pressing upward activates the high beam, while pressing downward turns off the high beam. This toggle here is the master control switch for the entire headlight. Next up, let's wait until evening and check out how the Black Warrior's lighting performs at night. Now that evening has rolled in, let me introduce you to the three ways of powering on and off the Black Warrior. Firstly, we can use the provided remote control that comes with the bike. Pressing the central lightning button powers it on, and a second press shuts it down. Secondly, press the button on the right side of the handlebar, and after about two seconds, it will power on. Press it again for two seconds to shut down. Thirdly, you can use the NFC key we provide. Simply touch the left side of the dashboard to power on, and touch it again to power off. Next, let me showcase the headlight illumination of the Black Warrior. Push the switch all the way to the left to turn on the headlight. Press the button upward to turn on the high beam. Press the button downward to turn off the high beam. The headlight is secured with screws, allowing you to adjust it to the desired height before tightening the screws. Now, let me demonstrate the effect of the turn signals at left. Now it's the right side. The display effect of the power mode on the instrument panel at night Next up is the effect of the brake light at night, and this brake light is my favorite part. Well, that's a wrap for the Black Warrior review. No exaggeration, just my genuine take on it. Right now, the Black Warrior is still in pre-sale, and if you make a purchase, you'll snag a $200 discount. 
If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment on the video or shoot me an email. Your inquiries are more than welcome, and I'll do my best to incorporate everyone's feedback to make the Black Warrior even better. Stay tuned, and happy riding, folks!